Hey everyone, if you know me, it's Alexander the Real Mr. Robinson. Welcome to a brand new channel. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I run a YouTube channel, The Real Mr. Robinson, uh, where I review movies and TV shows and all other sorts of entertainment. Some of the videos that I occasionally put on there are theme park videos uh, because I love going to theme parks, mainly Universal Studios. But I figured, you know what? Why don't I just keep all my movie reviews to one channel and then just put all the theme park stuff on a brand new channel. So this is gonna be a new adventure for me. I'm currently at the parking lot of Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm going to see Snake Eyes and review it for my other channel, my main channel. But I've got at least four hours to kill. Right now it is... 3.03. So I've got lots of time to kill before seeing Snake Eyes. So. Let's just go into the park, have some fun, try to do as many rides as possible, and then I will go see Snake Eyes. So why don't you come along with me? Let's do this. Going through City Walk, and there's Kong himself. Got his ass whooped by Godzilla earlier this year, but he's still king. People still love him. Let me do the studio tour. I'm not entirely sure, but let's just continue through City Walk. Is that Dragon? Facing the other way, there's a better shot of the dragon as he rules over his kingdom. The Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. You gotta protect your shrimp. Here we are at the nice, not golden archway. Home to the nicest weather the earth has ever had. But seriously, like, to quote Mystery Science Theater, if you look at that Universal logo, there is not a cloud in the sky and the weather is so nice. So we've got some very reasonable wait times for the park, especially considering that it's the middle to end of July. Uh, I don't think, I'm gonna plan to uh, head down to the lower lots. Even though everything's a 70 minute wait down there, there is single rider and I'm here by myself. I don't think I'll be doing Secret Life of Pets because I still have yet to actually ride it. We'll try that another time when it's not, you know, 80 minutes. Unexpected surprise seeing some of the uh, cleaning staff here at Universal dance to Justin Timberlake, or at least that song from Trolls. Uh, I don't exactly remember the song, but I'm walking through the Universal Plaza right now uh, to take a look at some Fast and Furious cars. Uh, let's see if I can identify them. Uh, well, I mean, they gave away this one right here. Uh, one of, is that the actual Dodge Charger? I no, I know it's not Dom's actual charger. Uh, it is a charger, the one he used in F9. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get used to this camera. Not sure what this car is from. I just watched mo most of the movies before seeing F9. I think this is from Fate of the Furious. You know, where uh, he, Dominic Toretto drives this on fire, racing that one dude. When he sees Dominic Toretto driving this car on fire and he's not burning up, the dude goes, that's impossible. Which really sums up the entire series when you think about it. We got the entrance to Hogsmeade, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which I think, I think we'll come back to it uh, later in the day before I see Snake Eyes, but right now we're heading this way to the lower lot. Uh, all the rides down there, Jurassic, Revenge of the Mummy, and Transformers are all 70 minute waits still. So onward we go. We got a tram coming down here. Right now the wait time for the tour is about 25 minutes. So if we have the time after I get done with the lower lot, we might, might do a tour. We'll see what happens. There it goes. There it goes again through the uh, timeline of movie posters. Hey, I've reviewed that movie before, The Mummy. You can go check it out on my main channel, The Real Mr. Robinson. Eyes on me, man. Blue. Eyes on me. Hey! Eyes on me, Blue. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
And we're moving. We're moving. Good girl. Good, good girl. Back it up. Back it up. And pull. So we just saw Blue. She's over there. Uh, they closed off the line, so I can't get a photo with her at all. But we're going to hop on Jurassic World the ride right now. It's the best time to go on. And uh, I would offer some bits of advice for those of you who have never been to Universal before. Try going on Jurassic World when the sun is not setting. Because the way the loading line is set up, uh, the sun is directly facing it, so if you are waiting on the boat for the ride to start, uh, then you're going to be, the su sun's going to be shining on you hard. Uh, it's going to not be fun. You have to do this until the boat actually gets up there. Uh, so uh, now's the best time to do it, and with that being said, let's hop on now. So single rider is closed at the moment, which is fine. I got three and a half hours. I can wait in the regular line. And plus, I'll be more entertained in the regular line with all the queue uh, features, the videos. It'll be fun. All right, so this is the current time. I'll, I'll be back when I'm actually at the loading area. Yes, I've, I've not been on this ride, but uh, I've got the wallpaper for it. One day, though. One day, Velocicoaster. Hmm. I don't know if this size chart's accurate. That's a pretty big human next to the Carnotaurus. Or that's just a really tiny Carnotaurus. They are also famous for their spectacular car, which they display when confronted. The Velocicoaster in the park are much smaller than the original species found in the fossil records, but they do stand around five to six feet tall. So that's why we make sure you stay at least 20 feet away. Anyone getting much closer than that would be reason for considerable concern. These animals are challenging to capture and do not treat them, but they are magnificent to watch. Either that is a tiny Indominus Rex right there, or that's a giant human. Because according to this chart, uh, the T-Rex is still bigger than the Indominus, so um, go figure. I'll respect the queen here. 4.42, definitely less than 70 minutes, so we're making good time. So they're selling Velociraptor masks here, which I only thought were in Florida for Velocicoaster, but I guess not. So the blue is back out, and uh, it's 5 p.m. right now. We've got two hours, or no, I should say, no, two hours, because AMC plays movie trailers for 25 minutes. So we got two hours to go before I see Snake Eyes, and that wait time for Jurassic World was not 80 minutes. It wasn't even 70 as originally posted, but, uh, you know, Let's see what else we could do in the lower lot. Huh? Let's check out Transformers. So this ride's very similar to The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man at Islands of Adventure, which I like a lot more than this, but still fun. Uh, wait time's 45 minutes, so I might just have to do single rider if it's open. Huh? It could be like Jurassic World where it's uh, single riders closed. 
But before that, uh, there's the entrance, the soon-to-be entrance to Super Nintendo World. Really, really looking forward to this one. The videos I saw of the version in Japan looked really cool. And I, uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this to open. When? Who knows? All right, single rider is open. It might be a walk up. Protect each other. Good luck. Pry out. Oh yeah, there's almost no line for single riders. I made the right choice. All right, just confirming my Snake Eyes tickets and uh, in line for Transformers, and we're good to go. So yeah, Transformers. I still have fun with it. it still baffles me that it's based off. Probably some of my least favorite movies ever made. Like, if you know me from my other channel, I hate Revenge of the Fallen so much, but the ride's pretty cool. Hey, look, it's John Bailey, aka Epic Voice Guy. All right, so the wait time for Revenge of the Mummy is currently 55 minutes. Uh, even with single rider, I think I'm gonna pass this. I'm just gonna head back to the upper lot. Uh, it looks like the waterfall for Jurassic World is barely working. Is the ride still going? I guess they got stuck. Oh, no, there they are. That couldn't have been timed perfectly. All right, so I'm back in the upper lot as Spider Pig is playing in the background. And I've opted to do the studio tour um, because I've been on Harry Potter the Forbidden Journey since the park reopened, but not the studio tour. And you know what, it's only a 15 minute wait. Um, we'll just do this and then uh, call the day here at Universal before I go see Snake Eyes. God, you gotta love this view of uh, Burbank, Warner Brothers and Disney in the distance. And there's Hogwarts, which seeing the mountains from the Fibrin Journey queue definitely adds um, to the atmosphere and theming. But next time, right now we're doing the studio tour with Jimmy Fallon and this gloriously cheesy sign, which I love. I mean, look at that, look at that new sign. Doesn't look like this is the tram. Boom, 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 boom. I'm really pushing it for time, but again, AMC plays like 25 minutes of trailer, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Now we are now leaving the theme park behind and taking you deep inside the heart of the studio where some of Hollywood's biggest names come to work every day. Now speaking of big names, hi. I'm Olivia. I'm your tour guide. Big name over here. And my mother thinks I'm pretty amazing, you know? But I know that I can't do this alone. So I want to introduce you to my very special co-host for the afternoon. You might know him as the host of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Here he is, the one and only. It's Jimmy Fallon. Oh, hi there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guide. Olivia. And the greatest driver. Natalia. They're the best. I love them. Even though Olivia owes me five bucks. And I'm going to lower my volume just a little bit because there's a lot of activity going on in these sound stages to your left. Oh, on your screens, that is what the inside of a sound stage looks like before they bring in all the sets and the camera equipment and the cast and crew. It's pretty much just a big, wide-open, empty warehouse. We can build whatever we need to inside there. It could be a hospital, a library. This school bus over to your left is for Saved by the Bell. That's Bayside High right there, there to make that school bus go to. Saved by the Bell films in stages 16 and 17. So a big high school set. But we do let it be in charge of these bungalows over to your left. These bungalows used to be the dressing rooms to some of Hollywood's biggest names. Now we work with a lot of well-known directors. Steven Spielberg has a legacy here on the Universal lawn. But here's Academy Award winning director, Mr. Peter Jackson. It's the original King Kong that the main
they recently moved the Fast and Furious cars, so we will see more of those later on in the tour. They moved those around, especially with F9 most recently out. And of course, Jurassic World, that gyrosphere, circular car that the kids go off-roading with, as well as a few cars from Transformers. A uh, picture car could be any car on screen. And uh, not again. Not again. Ah! Ah! Uh. Y'all love spitting at this camera, don't you? So in order to have it in the movies, we have to create it ourselves. Uh, it's relaxing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn that right off. It turns off immediately. As you can see, it's off. Uh, hold on. Uh-oh. Off. Right off. That's not good. Uh, the buttons can't take cover. Take cover immediately! Oh, the humanity! Now we are about halfway through our tour at the moment, so just a reminder, please remain seated at all times. Now we have cameras set up to your left, as well as camera makeup. So every time is more wet than Jurassic World did. Who, who would have known? Oh wait, do you see? There's a fin out there. Do you, do you see that? Oh no, Officer George is out there. camera's dead so I'm recording this on my iPhone so I'm just gonna head straight to the movie right now and I'll see you afterwards. Hey everyone so I'm here in my usual setting on my other channel The Real Mr. Robinson when I review movies. Sorry I had to cut this video kind of short because between my vlogging camera dying because I only have one battery and my iPhone being low on battery itself uh, 
I just couldn't film anymore. But I did eventually see Snake Eyes, and you can see that review on the Real Mr. Robinson YouTube channel. But the point really wasn't about Snake Eyes. I mean, screw Snake Eyes for more reasons than one. The point was to basically have a fun day at Universal Studios, uh, at least for the four hours I was there, uh, and to pretty much kick off this YouTube channel because I love theme parks. Movies might be my main passion, but I love going to theme parks. And last year, back in 2020, I was starved of theme park experiences because both Universal and Disney were closed for 13 months. So I've been watching a lot of theme park related videos from Orlando, whether they be channels like Super Enthuse or Vincent Vision. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I could probably do something like this. Over on the other channel, The Real Mr. Robinson, I would occasionally put out some theme park related videos, but sometimes I just don't want it getting in the way of my movie reviews, and sometimes I'm just worried that it might screw up the views on some of those movie reviews. So I decided, you know what? Why don't I just create another YouTube channel completely dedicated to theme park related videos? And that's what I've done. So I hope you enjoyed this first video. I really encourage you to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. I won't be constantly posting like four or five videos a week, but I will be posting videos at least once a week. And once I get more into the groove of this, I'm gonna start expanding beyond Universal Studios. So I encourage you to subscribe to the channel uh, if you're brand new, if you never knew me through the other channel, The Real Mr. Robinson, I encourage you to subscribe to that YouTube channel as well. And also, you could follow me on social media, whether it's Twitter at Real Mr. Underscore Robinson, Instagram at The Real Mr. Robinson, or Twitch.tv slash Real Mr. Robinson. And if you also want to help support me financially, you could go to Patreon.com slash The Real Mr. Robinson. Not only will you be helping me do more of these theme park related videos, but you'll also be helping the Movie Review YouTube channel, and you can do it all for only $1 a month. But if you can't help me financially, that's fine. Just subscribing to me on YouTube is good enough. I will take any amount of support you guys give, and I hope you enjoy this channel. So thank you for checking out this video, thank you for subscribing, and I'd like to officially welcome you to The Real Mr. Robinson's Outdoor Adventures. Hope to see you on the next adventure, and take care of yourselves, everyone.